Hey YouTube, so today I will be showing you how I clean my nose piercing. So I've had it for about, I would say, almost two weeks now. Um, it didn't hurt that much, but let's get started. So you're going to need some just sea salt. Like, not, it can't be salt, just sea salt. Oh my god. So warm, like lukewarm water. And some... Q-tips. I don't use cotton balls because I find that sometimes get hooked when piercing. So yeah. One sec, I'll just move you guys up. There we go. Okay, so first off, you're gonna have your warm water and open up your sea salt bag. It's and you gotta clean it about I would say I clean it about four to five times a day and I've had no problems with it. So just add little bit of sea salt, not like, I just added like that much, just a little bit, enough to cover the bottom, because I'm only filling my container up, not that much, the guy said I had another container, but I broke it, but yeah, um, so you're just going to want to stir it, mix it, um, up until most of the sea salt is dissolved, where you can't see it anymore, um, yeah, so mine's almost dissolved, but I just want to make sure it's all dissolved so I get every, like, get every bit of it. So it's really, really clean, because I don't want it to get infected. I don't think you guys that got your nose serious to get infected. So I just dipped my Q-tip into the sea salt water now. And you're just going to take, your, make sure your fingers are washed. I did mine, like, clean. And you just want to want to go around piercing. I'm just going to be facing this way so I can see that I'm cleaning my nose really good. But I just don't want it to get infected. I'm scared it's going to get infected or something. Like right now it's at the stage where it's, I don't know, just a little bit red I guess. So, um, yeah. I just really don't want it to get infected because it's actually starting to get a small bump here, but hopefully it's not too bad for like this. Okay, now that's nice and clean. Um, dip your other end of the, you did not just use, dip your other end in the sea salt. Just to go like this. And just clean up really good up your nose. I like to sometimes just get up there really good because you want to make sure it's clean. If not, you're going to have a nice puffed nose. So I'm trying to clean up one more time to make sure it's really clean. So do the same thing. This time I'm going to grab another Q-tip. I would like to do this once in a while, but... Other ways people clean it, I've seen, is you just stick the cube to pop your nose and just do that so piercing pops out and then flip out like that. Just go around a little bit until you get your actual piercing. Okay. Let me just stick it back in. Mine does hurt a little bit, but. That's okay, so I can get through that. Okay. And then just dip the other end that you didn't use it up your nose. And clean good. It's going to probably sting a little bit, maybe. If your like, piercings don't heal very well, like that quick and everything. So I'm just sort of drying it off with the one that. Just the one that I just grabbed. Just make sure it's really really clean okay so i'm pretty much done the video for today um just make sure that if you want to have nice clean piercing nice pretty piercing like mine oh, mine's it's pretty good like I, I mean it could be better but so yeah that's pretty much the video um i hope you enjoyed Comment down below if you have any issues with your piercing, like if it's not healing, um, it's, mine's fallen out actually during my sleep, like not fallen out, 
but it's just been like the studs popped out a little bit and I do have the loop one at the end so it will hopefully not come out. I've slept on it and it's popped out before just to the point where this like the barbell area is popped out. I just shoved it back in like I made sure I clean my hands and everything and put the sea salt and just shoved it back in. But if you guys like need anything like if you don't know how to clean it or something zonked it or if you've had bump or pus coming out of your nose anything like that just comment down below and I'll see if I can help you out I hopefully will be able to but if not I would probably go see the piercing that you got used on it I I if you live in like Ontario you should go to Anthony's piercing like Anthony's body piercing I suggest they're very well um they did mine for $25 and they have it's just amazing like yes people's pay like they'll go to the professional ones like they'll go to um it, I forget what it's called but it's like $65 to get your nose piercing and I was like oh that's not good a lot of my friends suggest that I get it from Anthony's piercing and I do suggest you guys now can get it done from there if you haven't got it done already um anyways I think I'm gonna end this video today so I'll talk to you guys later bye